Welcome to Tuesday's Tech Tip from GLVAR MLS. In today's tip, I will show you how to run a production report. A production report shows how many listings an agent or an office has sold, the dollar volume they have sold, along with the average listing price, the average sold price, and the ratio between the sold price and list price. A realtor will only be able to see their own production, whereas a broker or office manager will be able to see their production as a realtor and the production of their office. In both cases, you will be able to, to determine whatever time frame you would like to see. In this example, you can see the time frame that was chosen, how many listings that this realtor had sold where they were on both sides of the transaction, how many listings this realtor had sold where the selling agent was from the same office, how many listings this realtor had sold where the selling agent was outside of their office, how many listings within this realtor's office that they were the selling agent, how many listings outside of this realtor's office that they were the selling agent, and then how many listings where the realtor was the co-list agent or a co-list selling agent. And the bottom line gives the total number of listings sold, the total volume of the listing price, the total dollar volume of the sold price, the average listing price for all of the listings, the average sold price for all of the solds, and the ratio between the sold price and the listing price. Then, you'll see below we break down individually every listing so that you can help confirm the stats above. So in the first part, you see all the listings one by one that were sold by someone within the same office as this agent. Then below that, on the next page, you see of listings that this agent had sold where someone outside of their office was the selling agent. And then on page three, in the bottom column, you see how many listings that this agent was the selling agent where the listing agent was outside of their office. And then further down on that same page, you see the inventory summary for this agent. This shows, first broken down by property type, how many current active listings residential that this agent has and how many current residential rentals active or under contract that this agent currently has. And then finally on page four you see the inventory detail. You see those three active listings that this realtor has and you see those listings that are active or under contract that this agent currently has for residential rental. So now that you see this report, how do you find this report? Let me show you. It's actually really easy to find this report. You're just going to go to the Market Reports tab. And then, depending on your access level, in this situation, the person I am giving the example on is a broker. So they actually have multiple options here. They have the agent production reports and an office production reports. If you're an agent, you should only have the one called agent production reports. So by clicking on it, it'll take you to this screen here and this is where you get to pick the time frame. You can change the dates to whatever you like and when you're ready, just click on the generate report button. This will give you that same report that I just showed you. And there you go. I hope this example helps you. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.